Happy holidays from everybody at Bong Appetit. Yay, I go for that. <laughs> Thanks, Nona. I'm in Northern California, Weedtopia, because Nona Marijuana, one of the most beloved characters on Bong Appetit, invited me to have dinner with her for Christmas Eve. We're out here on this beautiful patch of land where Nona's daughter, Val, runs WAM, an organization that provides medical cannabis for people who can't afford it. Nona happens to be a fantastic Italian cook, and I can't wait to see what she's cooking up tonight. I can't believe that Santa would send me a real life grown up elf. Oh, I love your sweater. Thank you so much. I figured I'd, uh, you know, get the most festive, weed oriented thing I could, uh, I could really, find. Really, really cute. Was it. You got a whole bunch of weed laid out here. What are we going to be doing? We're still finishing our harvest. So, yeah. how about if you give us a hand trimming? Yeah, definitely. So Nona, are we going to be cooking with this weed that I'm trimming right here? Oh, but absolutely. I'm going to show you how to make a marijuana cookies. Cookies in the shape of marijuana leaf. And we're also going to have eggnog. Wait, did you just say eggnog? Yes, it's a special type of eggnog that has been treated. And that's all I'm going to tell you. We'll surprise you. <laughs> all right, great. Speaking of your food, uh, I've never had it, but I know that you did an episode of Bong Appetit, which made you world famous. There must have been a lot of nice people like saying how awesome you are, huh? Absolutely, and that really surprised me because no, in no way that I think that it would go to this extent. Every day I get many, many, many compliments from people encouraging me to keep on with my work and how much they admire what I do. I'm really glad that the world has a weed grandma that just helps like as many people as she can. And you know, more importantly than that, spreads the spirit of kindness that, you know, I think uh, cannabis kind of exudes, you know? It does, it does. You're a great mascot for weed, Nona. Thank you. You got a grandmother fetish, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I do now. After that crack, definitely. So I think this one is just about done. And I think that we have enough trim, and we'll brush this through like this. Well, this fine screen, this is the fine mesh. And if we push, put this through, you can see that we have both this trim product, which we can use mm -hmm. in one of our recipes, mm -hmm. and then this as well. Underneath, we have some Keef. Oh wow, scraping this all together, it's gonna be like a fat little puck of keef, huh? That's right. Nona, you ready to get cooking? I'm always ready to get cooking. That's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> all right, my so dear, now happening? at this point in time, I am going to show you how we make the dough and the egg nug. We're gonna take the, the clippings that we used from the uh, bud and infuse it with the butter. It's one quarter ounce of trim to one stick of butter. In order to activate the THC in the marijuana, I have to put it in the oven for one hour at 240 degrees. Decarboxylation. Very good, very good. This is about three cups of trim mm -hmm. that has been removed from the oven and that we will put through a sieve so that we can use it to make the cookies. Also the keef is the net result from the clippings which went through a screen and that is going to be put in the one cup of cream. It's a one teaspoon exactly to one cup of cream and this is the basis for the egg nuke. Well each one of these, the cream and the clippings with the butter will go at least one hour on a very, very low heat. That's why you have to keep watching and stirring because you don't want to burn it. Okay, now my dear, to carry on, we're gonna make the cookie dough. That's a third, third of, a of a cup of the wheat butter. butter? That butter's gonna make somebody happy. 
All right, so it looks like the weed cookie dough is almost ready, right? Just about. Put this in the refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. So what do you say, Nona? We've been chilling for a little while. That dough's been chilling. We ready to make some cookies? Let's get baked. Let's do it. Let's get baked. That's beautiful. I'm very happy with this. So who are these cookies for? These cookies are specifically being made for Santa Claus. He's got a long night and he's gonna be cold and hungry, so I'm gonna give him some warm milk and fresh cookies. Can I try cutting a cookie? Yeah, he needs to, here. <laughs> Should I make one real big pot cookie? Yeah, why not? All right. Okay. All right. Abracadabra. I'm just gonna punch it out right Ooh, onto the... Ooh, perfect. That's a nice big one. Yeah. That's gonna be good. I don't wanna medicate this one a little extra for Santa. Yeah, he can't grow weed up in the North Pole, I'm guessing, right? All right, so we got a ragtag team of pot cookies here. Are these ready to go in the oven? Absolutely. And how hot is this oven right here? It's, it should be at 375. All right. Great. And how long are they going to be in there for? Uh, just about about 10 minutes. We'll check them at eight minutes to be sure. OK. OK, Abdullah, don't burn your mouth when you swallow oh, yeah. this one whole. <laughs> yes, I would say that's enough. Ooh. So I mean, those are looking good. Some of them got a little crispy going a on toasty, on the edges. toasty, but that's all right. That makes life interesting. Look, that one cookie is like nice and poopy. You're a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna start baking the egg nug. First thing we're gonna do is put the six egg yolks, and we're gonna have them beaten until they're nice, light in color. Look at that. that oh, I think nice. that's, that's ready. about ready. The next step is to put in three quarters of a cup of warm honey, and you can feel it, it's still nice and warm. Now I'm gonna pour that in slowly. Now that the honey is dissolved, I'm going to add two cups of half and half, okay? So next I'm going to add six ounces of bourbon. Minus whatever you drank. Five and seven eighths ounces since I took a sip. There goes the bourbon. I have here one teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now the last is the cream that's been infused with the keef from the cuttings, and I'm sure Santa's gonna have a high time with this when he's riding his sleigh across the, the world. Lit on your eggnog. It's a go. Picture Santa gets all that keef cream. We'll proceed to the next, next to the last stop. Pour this into the pitcher. I will add six egg whites and beat them until they're soft peak. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. I think, wait, he, oh, no. it's OK. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that crazy foam. Perfect. All right, so should I start stirring this up? Yeah, like you're stroking a woman's head. OK. <laughs> With a. Whisk. <laughs> I wanted to do yes. Did you take a bite? No, oh my God, what happened? God had nothing to do with it. <laughs> no, Santa Claus did. <laughs> All right. Man, this really, really smells and tastes like the holidays to me. Mmm, and that keef. You can't really taste it in there, but I can see little specks of it floating around, mixing in with my nutmeg and cinnamon. And I know that because it's a cream infusion, in just a few minutes, I'm gonna be feeling the effects of this. Maybe a little bit of the bourbon too, right? We'll feed you. Okay, cool, yeah, let's counteract it. Thank you so much. Thank for you, Nona. Going to all the trouble of making this oh, incredible meal for us. my total, it's total pressure. I tell you, this is my passion, cooking. Well, the, the main encore is 
striped sea bass served with sauce, potatoes. Uh, I have sliced tomatoes with balsamic vinegar and olive oil, sliced cucumbers with balsamic vinegar and olive oil, and a green salad. Now the food I'm serving tonight is not infused with marijuana. However, if you're so inclined to have some, I have I have this for you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> no, just so me. So feel free to use it <laughs> if you wish to put it, incorporate it with your food. I know it'll enhance it, but I'm bon gonna appetit, incorporate. Guys. You guys gonna incorporate? Yeah, incorporate it. Yeah. <laughs> this is Christmas, our Christmas Eve dinner. And tomorrow's your birthday. A happy 93rd, Nona. Thank you. My pleasure. Here's to another 93. <laughs> Let me give you the fish first. You might forget it's in your dish. Oh my God, Nona. This fish is amazing. Oh, is it oh it makes me so happy. Mm, the fish is great. Is it good? Oh yeah. How about you? Very good. But we need more. You know, I think it's really wonderful how you guys have brought food and cannabis together, uh, you know, for the holidays. And I'm just really touched and really appreciative that I could spend Christmas Eve with you guys out here, uh, you know, the land of awesome weed and even more awesome people. Uh, so thank you so much. And thank you, Nona, for making dinner. I had a really good time hanging out with you today. That makes me very happy, sweetheart. Yeah? <laughs> Come back. I will, definitely. I'll be back to visit. And I heard that you play the piano. Is that right? Yes, I do. Yeah, do you know any Christmas carols? One. Oh, ganja bells, ganja bells, ganja all the way. I think I hear Santa. <gasps> now I've left all your presents underneath the tree, but I know that you're having a birthday, so I got you a special present. Can I open it tonight? Oh, you can open it. Thank you so much. I can hardly wait to open it. Oh! <laughs> An apron. Oh, I love aprons. You have no idea. I love them. This is my signature. Because I get up in the morning, take a shower, get dressed, and then that thing that goes on is an apron. Abdullah. Yes, sir. Uh, I hear that you don't think that we can grow proper weed up in the North Pole. So I brought you a little present that you can share. Oh my God. Yeah. Some of my secret stash. I guess you didn't see all the awful shit I did all year, huh? <laughs> Thanks so much, Santa. You're quite awful. Appreciate it. We have some snacks for you. I think it's some stuff that you're familiar with, some of you're used to. Maybe with a little twist, instead of milk, we got you some eggnog. So that's medicated eggnog. And we got you some weed cookies. <laughs> Thank you. You got it, Santa. You are awesome. And the rest of these are for you as well. Merry Christmas to all and to all a high night. Yeah. Woo! Ganja Christmas! Ganja Grandma! Ganja Santa! Well, Nona, you showed me a really good time. This was the best Christmas Eve ever. Thank you so much. Oh, bless your heart, sweetheart. Come back next year. Definitely will. Best weed grandma ever right here, undisputed champion. That's me.